No, it looks like the old champagne corks are going to have to wait another week or maybe even two weeks because, yeah, we are still stuck in the purple and color purple is not good in this particular case. That's the uh, most restrictive color that we have. But seven counties, the good news is that seven counties did go into the red, which means that California is no longer the only state in the country that is completely banning indoor dining. The problem is it's up in Northern California, not down here. You know, LA, Orange County, San Diego, they're all still stuck in this purple tier as decided by, of course, Gavin Newsom in the color-coded world that he has put us all in. Uh, we're here with Mayor Bill Wells of El Cajon. We thought, hey, let's talk to Bill. We haven't talked to him in a while. And, of course, you know that the mayor out here in El Cajon is one of the people who, you know, kind of challenged the whole system of tiers and colors and things like that from the very beginning. So we thought we'd come and chat and see how business is going and see how life is going and see how things are going. Hey, thanks for coming. Mayor Wells, thank you so much right here on the streets of El Cajon. It's so pretty, so beautiful. Uh, let's talk about what happened today and your reaction to Northern California opening, us in Southern not. Well, I think that... Uh Governor Newsom should just get the hint that it's over. Um, people aren't complying any longer. The restaurants all over Southern California are opening. Businesses are opening because people have just said it's enough. They no longer believe that the science backs up shutdowns. Uh, every other state in the union has decided shutdowns don't work. It's over, and we need to just get on. Yeah. How are things going here in El Cajon? I know that you guys were some of the uh, leaders of the sort of the pushback against the governor. Uh, has it helped your business owners at all, like financially or mentally or any other way? You know, I, I'm told a lot of people were really happy that we talked about that because it gave them some hope. And, and people like to think that some of their elected leaders think the same way they think. Yeah. Um, I don't know that it's helped financially that much. Uh, a few restaurants stayed open, a few businesses stayed open, but most people want to follow the rules and I understand that yeah and they've modified their business to a point where they've lost a significant amount of money and it's gonna be a, a long hard road back yeah speaking of which you and I were just talking about the transition that your town is going through and a lot of towns are going to be going through but you're already going through it this is sort of turning into an arts district yeah. and perhaps the old model of the big huge restaurant might not last that much longer well, you know, towns uh, go through changes. People's tastes go through changes. The, this downtown model was great in the 50s and 60s and 70s. And now we're, uh, people are moving away from that. They're going di different places for restaurants and entertainment. So a lot of these places are revamping. And our, our downtown district is revamping more as an art district. Yeah. Coffee shops, uh, small places to get something to eat and boutique restaurants. It's, it's nice. Yeah, yeah. So what do you make, I mean, what is your advice to people out there? You know, everybody wants to abide, everybody wants to be cool. Uh, you know, nobody wants to break the rules, but unfortunately this is a situation where once again, we're going on a year now, Mayor. We're going on a year. I can tell you what I would do. <clears throat> I, I would open and, and I would uh, have some civil dis disobedience. I'm not, I'm a big roof faller as well, but you get to a point where the science doesn't back it up, common sense doesn't back it up, survival doesn't back it up, and you've got to open up your business. Uh, I think we all got to send the kids back to school too. I think we got to put a lot of pressure on teachers unions to stop being so selfish and stop being so focused on whatever it is they're focused on. I don't want to get into all that, but they're not focused on the kids and they need to send kids back to school and we need to get back to normal life. Well, this has certainly smoked out a lot of people for who they really are and what's really going on out there, isn't it? That Indeed. is for sure. Mayor Bill Wells from El Cajon, thank you so much thank you. for coming out and joining us. We do appreciate it. And uh, in a little bit, we just ran out of time, but a little bit we'll get your thoughts on some of the mental health issues because, of course, you are a psychologist by by profession, and we're going to talk a little bit about that and share that with you coming up at 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock as well from the streets of El Cajon, where <laughs> there's a lot of outdoor space available. Uh, but, you know, some of the restaurants, they just decided, look, we're going to open a couple of days for a while, and then we're going to close because it's not worth it for us until they can reopen on the inside. So they're waiting for the uh, green light or the red zone, whatever, whatever we're, color code we're living in these days. But again, no champagne corks today here in San Diego. Unfortunately, they're going to have to wait.